Hello, welcome to the second day of Open Source Summit. Um, I'm Cheryl Hung. I'm the Director of Ecosystem at the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. So, as Jim just said, CNCF is the home of Kubernetes, Prometheus, and dozens of other open source projects. Including the 49 who just joined, we are now supported by 469 members. And the end user community has dozens and dozens of well-known companies who are relying on containers and using cloud native technologies. Uh, in fact, one of my favorite moments from the last KubeCon Cloud Native Con was watching CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, rediscover the Higgs boson particle live on stage using Kubernetes to auto-scale their applications and auto-scale their clusters. But in truth, the majority of organizations are not anywhere near there. So this survey asked organizations, what percentage of your containers run in production? And if you look over at the left, you can see that even though there is change since 2018, 40% of companies don't even run 10% of their containers in production. So what are the barriers? So these are perhaps similar to a lot of open source projects. It's difficult to integrate applications, tools, and environments together. It's difficult to manage upgrades, to determine and track where data is located, and enterprises need to manage security, identity, compliance, and have the tools to manage cost. And while these are all important topics and important challenges that need to be solved, I'm actually going to take a different turn and talk about some other kind of challenge. And that challenge is climate change. So in the UK, where I live, people are talking about eating less meat and using less plastic bags and using less plastic straws. And I'm pretty sure that's the same here in California. But data centers emit as much CO2 as the airline industry. If the global IT industry were a country, only China and the United States contribute more to climate change. So what do you do about it? So here's two examples from Kubernetes. So Kubernetes enabled Spotify to reduce their CPU utilization by two to three times through bin packing and multi-tenancy. The city of Montreal moved 200 application components running on hundreds of virtual machines down to eight machines. And as engineers, we can applaud the productivity and efficiency gains. And for organizations, the cost savings are obvious. But this also means that we can do more with less. We can use fewer resources and less energy to run the same workloads. So if you look at global internet traffic, it's doubled in fact, more than doubled every four years. And with video and IoT and edge computing and people in China and India and lots of other countries coming online for the first time, this trend is set to continue. So what I want to say to you is, I think we all know that infrastructure matters, but the impact of that is going to be up to you. So thank you. You can see my slides at oishow.com. <laughs>